guys welcome back to my channel wait let me zoom out wow do i even still know how to work a camera hi you guys it is 2022 can y'all believe that it is really 2022 like i don't even know i don't know what to do with that okay so let's talk about vlogmas wait first of all before we do that hi <laughs> if you're new here my name is gabrielle i also go by gaby here on the channel we are miss gca thank you so much for tuning in to the channel today i hope something you see today will convince you to stick around okay um but for the rest of y'all hey okay let's talk about vlogmas so vlogmas was on a roll give me some credit okay i had like eight days straight right something like that and then i don't know I really don't know okay so i'm gonna look at the bright side and stay positive about the fact that i feel like this is the furthest we've gotten with vlogmas like ever so i'm giving myself credit for that even if y'all aren't and that's fine i get it okay when somebody announces vlogmas you expect 25 vlogs straight but i didn't realize is now i have a full-time job and life just doesn't work like that so i think in the future for success shout out to Paige danielle i think i shared this somewhere else but um shout out to her i love following her if you don't follow her follow her if you like family vlogs and all that but she does 12 days of christmas every year and it's perfect because she pre-records them okay so she does hers like whatever 12 days from <laughs> the 13th to the 25th she posts 12 vlogs straight some of them are pre-recorded most of them are pre-recorded so they're already set ready to go like literally uploaded and all she does is press publish on each day and then she posts like the ones that are leading up to so like christmas eve and christmas she posts like you know in real time but it's genius and she accomplishes it every year and i'm like wow i see so many people start off vlogmas on fire and then fail so i think in the future we are going to do 12 days of vlogmas because it just it makes more sense but i don't think i've ever vlogged in my office since i've been here so welcome to my office i was kind of trying to keep it a secret until i publish the like office makeover but all of my um decoration has come to a halt <laughs> in this apartment because your girl is still broke in the name of jesus i am still blessed okay don't get me wrong i am blessed but the way these bills are sitting every month and the way my budgeting currently is i just don't have the money to be dropping on decorations and all that like i was um I bought a lot of like the initial things on credit and some help with my fam from my family and i just that's not sustainable to furnish a whole house in that manner therefore things are on pause until i can stack up some more cash so so i don't want to wait until you know all of that works out because that may not be until the summertime until i really can get this room and my bedroom finished so that's kind of an apartment update if you're wondering but before i get too deep into this video i want to start with shouting out the fact that today's video is sponsored by anna luisa i am so excited about this you guys i really almost can't believe i'm so excited about this mainly because it's hilarious i follow a couple people one person coming to mind for sure is Bianca Henderson who typically has like videos sponsored by Anna Luisa and she's always talking about the jewelry and I love gold jewelry I love rings I love all of that but don't always find them like in my size and you know definitely not durable we love the jewelry at Forever 21 and all of those places but you know it doesn't last beyond a couple wears really it starts chipping and looking crazy and so I love how she was talking about like they were dainty pieces. I love the ones that she was wearing. I'm like, wow, super cute. Never really went ahead and purchased them. And then, go figure, you guys, Anna Luisa reached out to me and asked um, if I was interested in a sponsorship. And I'm like, what? Absolutely. So they sent me some items and we are gonna unbox them together. They sent me these items to my P.O. box, which is really exciting news that I will share. <laughs> After we get into this um but i do want to start off with unboxing these items and talking about them a little bit with you guys so let's start with that and then i'll tell you a little bit more about why Annalisa is dope because they are and i'm gonna show you <laughs> 
I'm so excited to get into this, you guys, and show you in unboxing format um, what Ana Luisa is all about. First of all, I do want to highlight that they are all about sustainability. Um, you can see something good for the earth is mentioned right there in the packaging. It is all um, sustainable for the earth. So if that's something that's really important to you, look at even the packaging that they choose. It's not plastic and um, other things that are not necessarily recyclable. So getting right into it, the first piece that I chose is, I call it a fat ring. <laughs> It's called the Noah. It's a 14 karat gold on brass, retailing for $59. And the next one I chose is a thin version of that same ring. It's called the Jones. It's a 14 karat gold on recycled sterling silver, also $59. This next one I'm obsessed with, it's called Rope Slim, and it's 14 karat gold on brass and cubic zirconia. It retails for $49. Then this necklace is straight out of my dreams. It's called the Aina, 14 karat gold on stainless steel. It's 16 inches and retails for $75. And then the last item that I got, last but not least, is Bex Mini. It's 14 karat gold on recycled sterling silver mini hoops, retailing for $59. So as you can clearly tell, these pieces are perfect for a dainty, minimal, really chic and stylish look. They can go with pretty much anything. Obviously it's kind of hilarious that I'm trying to put this necklace on <laughs> with a tarot neck, but I just really wanted you all to see like how perfectly um, these items fit really any style. I also really want to emphasize that these pieces are high quality, which is kind of amazing that it's still sustainable with it being such high quality. Um, it's affordable, so really it's perfect for you, it's perfect for someone you love, especially with Valentine's Day just around the corner. You guys, right now they have a buy one get one 40% off. We've got things from $39 to higher end pieces, so there's something for everyone. And if you choose to check them out, use either their website or my link below. Use my link. Really, he's my link. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna rock these for the rest of the video because I feel extremely cute, okay? Very cute. But anywho, what was I talking about before I, wow, hold on. Okay, I told you guys about the apartment, right? Yes, I said the apartment is not done. It is on its way. Eventually, someday, I'll give you a fully furnished apartment tour, but the day is not in the very near future. I will have an addition, I think, to the office very soon. I want a pull-out couch. I've been talking about this pull-out couch to have for guests when they come over. So everything was like back ordered last year, so I just gave up trying. But we might go ahead and get that ordered for this room. It's a new year and I just feel like, oh wow, so much is so much is going on in the world. So much is going on in life. Speaking of that, wow, so much going on in the world, right? The main one that's going on is our lovely vid the friend that just keeps on coming over when we ask them to go home. Yes. For the second year in a row, you guys, I brought in the new year with the vid. I was positive. I tested literally on December 31st or 30th. It was one of those, like right at the end of the year. Turns out I was positive. I don't understand, you guys. I am one who like, my measures of safety are the same throughout the year. I get that the holiday surge happens, but like, I didn't change anything about how I was operating in this world. Still Purell in my car, purse everywhere, pockets. Still masked up for the most part, honestly. Um, I was boosted, okay? So I got the booster and still COVID was like, hey, sis, remember us? So yeah, I brought in the new year for the second time with COVID. Um, I didn't really miss anything, thankfully, because I was still off work. Um, so I just stayed indoors and what else happened? Um, I did have to miss a, a weekend of singing at church. So that was kind of sad because y'all know I've been really enjoying that ministry at church. But it's fine. It worked out. Um, I ended up singing the following weekend for worship night and uh, just had a really just amazing time. So it all worked out perfectly fine, but still, ew. Y'all remember last year, if you were around back then, that I had um, very minor symptoms of the vid, but the main thing that like threw me for a loop and drove me crazy was I lost my uh, taste and smell. This time, none of that, okay? I really didn't have any issues at all this time. I really probably would have never known that I was positive if I didn't go get tested. And I kind of just got tested because I had like a dry throat, not a sore throat, but it was just dry. I had been at my parents' house. So I kind of just wanted to get tested when I came back to Columbus just to be sure, and it was positive. So I tested negative like less than a week later. I want to say four or five days later. I was already negative, so. 
who knows is what it is i'm all right y'all see me i'm here and i'm ready for an awesome year i spent time this year doing a vision board a digital vision board i think i told you guys that last year that i did one as well so i spent some time doing that and just thinking about my goals for the year and all the things and i think a lot of us are pressured into that coming into the new year um and another thing i felt pressured into this year was uh the 21 day fast the daniel fast if you all remember i really detailed my experience with that um two years ago i think it was 2020 honestly when i did the daniel fast and i was all in it and everything and it was transformative it definitely reset me and just got me in the right headspace um and i wanted to do that again this year but i realized like i just don't think i was ready i don't think i was ready on january 10th i think is when everybody launched into it i just in january wasn't ready i've been kind of putting a lot of pressure on myself i started therapy again um and just have a lot of goals a lot of things that i'm trying to accomplish trying to still get settled in this job and i think the pressure of just doing the 21 day fast would it have been transformative absolutely would it have you know set me up for this year perfectly absolutely but i'm going to stay sensitive to god about the proper time for me to do it like i don't want to just do it because everybody in the world literally is doing a 21 day fast at the same time i want to do it because i feel like god is really calling me to do it and the timing is just it's in line with his plan of what he's trying to reveal in my life and not just the fact that everybody's doing it so and i don't want to fast with just like fast to get something right i felt like that's kind of what the motivation was too was like let me fast so i can get something xyz out of this year when it's like i want my heart to really be that like i want the fast to prune me prune my spirit prune my mind and all the things to get me ready for what god has and so i'm definitely going to do it at some point this year probably in the very near future but um just didn't feel like it was the right time right now i don't know why i decided to share that with you guys <laughs> maybe so that if you felt pressured into creating 2022 goals because everybody else was and doing you know xyz to you know prepare for the new year like it may not be the right time you know for that i'm not saying don't have vision or purpose behind your year or get started you know with some motivation and anticipation but i feel like you know maybe the reason we don't follow through on all our resolutions is because like we're trying to do too much and that's not necessarily what god is calling us to do in that particular season so don't know if that helped anyone but it's been helping me to just tell myself like it's okay we still got 11 months left really of 2022 so sis just take a breather it's fine so speaking of 2022 for this channel i haven't spent a whole lot of time um in depth thinking about like what direction i'm going to take this channel but i know for a fact that i'm really working on this being my creative outlet space like i need it right i've been kind of poo-pooing around it and letting other things get in the way of my time for youtube but like i need this creative space i need this creative time to just get out all the things that run through my head all day long um and to just share my life in different ways that i've always envisioned being able to share it and I just really want to use this space. I want to honor you all um, and your belief in me for subscribing to me and whatever it is that you see in me. So um, I kind of am asking you all, you can either drop it in my DMs, drop it in the comments below or wherever um, you can contact me. But I really want um, to build this community up and I want you all to feel comfortable kind of sharing with me what you want to see. Um, I definitely foresee sponsorships and not one-time sponsorships, but hopefully partnerships that grow and develop um, with brands that just really fit me and my style and where I'm trying to go. So I'm excited. I really hope that you all will see me way more consistent on this channel this year. I'm not making any promises because I feel like I hate lying to y'all when I get on here with all this motivation and then I don't follow through. I've just set my heart on that for this year and really taking myself seriously. I feel like I just see so many YouTubers out here doing this and I see so many successful channels and um, all these successful content creators and I know that the market can't be saturated because literally there's room for everybody. <laughs> there is room for everybody and I know that but I just I get in my head sometimes you know. I'm hoping that this year is the year that I shift from just a side gig to this being like you know potentially LLC or something like that um, because it's making money. I'm investing money in it and and I can only imagine where it will go if I really take a risk with myself 
bet on myself and say, Gaby, you can definitely do this. Speaking of things that I've invested in myself and in our community, I now have a P.O. box, you guys. Yes, I have a P.O. box. For those uh, few subscribers that I was able to send my postcard to, you all are already aware of my P.O. box. It was on the postcards that I sent, which was so amazing to do, you guys. I loved interacting with you all in that way and sending you all um, postcards it just I don't know it just it warmed my heart to hear the feedback from you all and to be able to communicate with you all in a personal way because I put personal handwritten notes on all of them that was fun and I would probably be doing more of that sending postcards and things like that now that I have a P.O. box where it's safe you guys can <laughs> send me things and I can feel comfortable without having to give out my um, home address so please if you've ever like been into the pen pal thing or like you know sending snail mail i would love that like if you just randomly one day i'm like i'm gonna write her a letter please i need you to know it would make my entire day probably my entire week month year so um here's my p.o box it's also gonna be in the description box um here on out so you know if you ever thinking like oh i want to send her something please feel free to send it there like i have a thousand more updates but like i said the videos will be coming a little bit more frequently so i don't want to talk you guys this head off today i have to do some cleaning around the house um i have a friend coming over actually in a couple hours <laughs> jesus and my parents are coming in town this weekend i actually think i just saw them pull up um they're coming by to just say hi now they're going out with some friends and staying with them tonight and then they'll be staying with me for the rest of the week so i'm trying to get my apartment clean for my friend i'm hosting dinner tonight and then for when they stay with me so pulling up just to say hi so i don't really care if they see my apartment a mess but i figured i would take you guys along a little bit while i clean up and then i might try to run to the store before she comes because i have a few more things to pick up for dinner i'm really asking for a lot in a very little amount of time but you know hey alexa play firm foundation he won't fail play firm foundation he won't find maverick city music from spotify <laughs> I am out of breath because I was dang near racing to the store because it is currently, sorry, it's currently 5.57. She's supposed to be coming at 6. And I had a few more things to grab from the store. Things that I grabbed. Some wine. Garlic bread because I'm making spaghetti casserole. Grab some salad because I can't remember if the salad in my fridge is old or not. Cheese, because I can't remember if the cheese I have is old or not. 
some cookies, cause you know, maybe dessert. Some pepper and onion to cut up for the casserole. And pepperonis for the casserole. The only thing I had for the casserole was things to make spaghetti. Cause when I originally bought the ingredients, I was just gonna cook it for myself for spaghetti. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use the ingredients I have instead of trying to ball out for people when I host them over for dinner. Unfortunately, the food won't be done when she gets here because she's allegedly arriving at six. But at least I will be in the process of cooking. It is 10:49. Successful host dinner, dinner hosting dinner. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I don't know. My friend Kara is safely back home, so all is well. We smashed, and she asked for seconds of spaghetti casserole. I used my mom's recipe. Um, it doesn't look as fire as it did coming straight out of the oven, but I'll show you guys. So this was it, it has spaghetti, which I only had angel hair pasta, but it worked out. Spaghetti, a layer of cheese, no, spaghetti, a layer of sauce, and I added ground turkey, chopped peppers, chopped onions, and then roasted garlic and herbs, um, prego sauce. Mixed that up on the stove, layered that on top of the noodles, and then cheese, and then um, pepperonis. And then I just doubled that layer. Um, so yeah, I baked it at 350, I think, for 30 minutes. So this fire, I'm glad I have leftovers since my parents are in town and baked some cookies. Although Kara didn't eat any, she was like, I'm too full. We had garlic breadsticks. We also had the wine I showed you guys from earlier. If y'all haven't had the barefoot peach wine, I'm telling you it's everything. And as a housewarming gift, because she's amazing, she got me my bright sister sparkling rose. Black women owned brand. So she brought that for me. So yeah, it was a good night. Now I have dishes. Ew, who wants to do dishes? Especially after I literally just did a load. Y'all saw me do a load earlier, and now I pretty much am starting over. Uh it's okay. I'm gonna do this real quick and then I have a few more things I think I want to tell you guys before I let you go. Alright, so the kitchen is clean. Now we're gonna go in the office. Oh my gosh, I burned out like three candles when she was here. Three of the candles I lit, I knew, well two of them for sure, were like pretty much dead. So, it's about time for another shopping trip to Marshall's for candles. Took my rings off throughout the day because I was doing so much cleaning and whatnot today, but I mean, obviously this is very preliminary for me to speak on this, but like there's no itching, there's no like nothing ridiculous happening with this jewelry. Now I will say in the beginning, I had a very hard time getting these little ear cuff earrings in. Um, few notes about those so I really wanted these like ear cuffs that like hug my ears and those who have some experience with them may already know this I did not know that the piece that goes inside of your ear is actually also short um, and smaller um, I guess to fit the size of the ring I get it but 
uh yeah they barely fit into my ears i actually was trying to wear them um if you remember i had the studs in my first hole and i was trying to wear them as cuffs for my second hole that is like the way it looked better but the, this one went in my second hole this one absolutely would not and i think it's just because the hole is actually higher on this side just somebody's tacky piercing job at Claire's or piercing pagoda in the mall or something like that so it's higher so it was harder to get the piece through my ear and wrapped around my ear like my ear is still irritated from me attempting to do that so I ended up switching them to my front so they work in the front um because those were pierced correctly I got my ears pierced when I was like two or three so just a heads up if you're um, thinking about getting these you might be in a similar situation with needing to wear them in the front and not on your second hole. If I get a third hole that's really like way closer to the edge of my ear, then I'll wear them in the third hole. I'm actually thinking about getting a third hole, so. But other than that, I mean, even that is not a complaint. Like I love, this one's been hiding between my turtleneck, but love this jewelry, you guys. So other than that, I think you guys are all up to date. I think I told you I'm back in therapy, which is already so good and I have really high hopes that um, I really get a handle on some of this anxiety and stuff that's been going on. I may do an updated um, mental health video. I still get hits from that. I got somebody in my DMs the other day about um, the mental health video I had and just asking for help with, you know, where did I find my therapist and all that kind of stuff. Excited about taking myself seriously and betting on myself and just, I don't know, living in community, like even tonight, just being able to host, you know, a friend and cook dinner. I've been able to do that so much more these days um, since, you know, being back in community. Before I go, I just want to reiterate how beautiful and elegant and chic and honestly this fits my grown woman aesthetic you know that i've been trying to capture you guys i've really been trying to get to this new level of my style and all of that and these pieces for anna luisa are really going to help me do that i could not be more excited to partner with them and have this opportunity honestly i probably will be purchasing um some pieces on my own um but these are so affordable the shipping is so fast you guys i mean they told me I think 10 days for delivery and it came way faster than that. It came so fast. Perfect for yourself, perfect gift for somebody else. Um, please make sure to check out my link in the description box. I'll also put it here on the screen. Check out Anna Luisa's website. I'll put all of that information in the description box and on the screen somewhere. Just in time for Valentine's Day, this is quality jewelry, not the cheap stuff. And it's very affordable. So if you need to shop for someone else, a chain like like this for sure or some of the other ones even um could be like gender neutral so make sure you check out the website definitely make sure to use my link so Anna Luisa knows that I sent you guys over if what you see on me is something that fits your style and what you like trust me there's so much more for you to check out make sure you use my link again <laughs> I hope to see you all in the next video. If you enjoyed today and spending today with me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Stick around for future videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this. And I'm about to chill for the rest of the night. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.